what's up guys this is pastor canayo one more time or again um it's about 11 25 p.m <clears throat> excuse me so we're about to start another tutorial with <clears throat> functions again so we're still talking about functions but this time we're going to be seeing booleans boolean values you know we're going to be returning a boolean um uh could be uh function might be returning a true or a false value like you know it, it's there is there is a need for a function to test arguments to return either true or false you know um to satisfy a condition um so we're going to start with uh, an example right here so we're going to see the data type bool uh, which will hold a value, which will hold a boolean value, like, you know, true or false. So we're going to give it a name. Let's give it a name of is even. So we're going to pass an argument, which is going to be end semicolon. We're going to go to the main function right here, and we're going to uh, have a uh, end with the name val which this is going to be uh the value to be tested okay so then we have uh, we're going to get a, a number from the user Okay, we're going to do CL. So we'll be asking enter a number. And I will tell you if it is even or odd. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you if it is, why do I have to type twice? is even or odd okay and we're going to store those the value the the user enters right here with the same okay cool now we're going to use a if statement what would we say is to indicate Whether let's put whether 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 it is even or odd. Okay. So we got if is even. So if the value that the user enters even. So we're going to say see out be a ball is even. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Look at it. Okay, else see out ball. is odd okay okay you want to I forget so I want to return zero right here so now let's do the function So we would give a name to that data type end with the full number. Let's get rid of the semicolon. And um, 
right here we're going to be using uh, the modulus operator right here. Uh, F number percentage 2 equals 0. Return true. Else return false. So, all right, let's execute the program. So, what we got? Okay, enter a number and I will tell you it is even or odd. Oh, let's do 10. 10 is even. Oh, good job. Program's working good. So let's do it again. Let's do 15. 15 is odd. Okay, that's working fine. Let's do with bigger numbers. So let's do 355, 355. It's odd. That's working. And then let's do 1,000. It's even. Cool. So the problem worked as expected. Well, thank you very much for checking the video. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully just helping you a little bit in your in your journey to be a programmer, to be a, uh, uh, you know, just to get yourself ready. So this is just basic uh, what we're doing. So hopefully it helps you. Uh, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. So we are, we only have 12 subscribers. We're hoping to have more later. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye.